It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I feel fine. Let's not leave that in. Hi, hey, hello, and welcome, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly, and today we're going to do the end of the year book tag. So, we have passed summer, and now we're in fall. And now it's just like a countdown to Christmas and the new year and a uh, start of a whole new reading year. But before we do that, let's just remember that it's September and stay in September for like the month and not get ahead of ourselves. So let's, let's calm down, okay? Calm down. <laughs> yes. Very much like tag, tag questions, very much like tag videos go. We have questions, we have answers, hopefully. And uh, let's to mash them both together so we have question and answers on. Don't mind me, don't mind me. Okay, question number one. Are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? Oh yeah. <laughs> Um, but to, you know, just name a few of them and not all of them. I said nothing. I said nothing. Okay, so to name a few of them, I would like to finish To Sleep in a Sea of Stars, which was our February pick, and I did not finish completely, but um, I would like to finish it, because... It's just who I am. I need to finish it. And then also The Priory of the Orange Trees, which I also started around that time. Maybe March. Um, I just feel it's a very heavy book and I can't read it all at once. So I'm taking chunks of it at a time and seeing how that goes. I would also like to finish The Final Empire. Um, the first in the Mistborn series because I would like to read some more of the Mistborn books and so there are loads loads of others obviously <laughs> um, but um, yeah let's just let's just mention those for now okay yeah question number two do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year honestly I don't think so um not one that like screams fall, autumn, whatever you want to call it. Uh, not one of those. Um, pretty sure I'll just read whatever tickles my fancy, as it were. Um, you know, like always. But if you do have like a autumnal book recommendation for me, leave them down below. I'm always looking for more. Well, I'm always looking for books, let's, let's be truthful. Question number three, is there a new release you're still waiting for? So Babel is coming out now, isn't it? Or has it come out? <laughs> that's, that's really the only book I can think of currently. The funny thing is though that I pre-ordered that book and I, I knew nothing about the book when I pre-ordered it and yet I still pre-ordered it. That can happen. That can happen. Um, but since having pre-ordered it, it, like in the last couple of weeks or so, um, I've been hearing more and more about it and I'm intrigued, okay? I'm intrigued. I want to read this book. It will probably not happen until next year, but yeah, I, yeah. I'm glad I pre-ordered it now. Hopefully it's actually good though. <laughs> Question number four. What are three books you want to read before the end of the year? All of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's never gonna happen. Um, so like the three books I mentioned earlier that I want to finish. Um, but books I haven't like started yet. Uh, let's see, I would like to read uh, The Invisible Life of Adi LaRue. K 
because you know everyone's loving it more or less and there are some very fancy graphics in the edition I have so I'm, I'm looking forward to picking that one up whenever that will be um, I would also like to read the replica duology and yes we are counting two books as one here um, the only thing about those books are that you can read them in different ways <laughs> yeah so, so I need to figure out how I want to read it and like what seems most like a, a reasonable way to read those books and I would very much like to do that because first of all uh, it was a bitch finding one of them and uh, second of all I'm just intrigued about a book that you need to flip around and you can read in different ways um, but I would also like to be told how to read the book because um, straightforwardness <laughs> and third well I would like to read the Divine Comedy by Dante Alighieri oh, yeah. um, although I'm pretty sure I won't be reading that one this year um, almost positive although I can't remember the name of the guy currently like so but if I remember to put it in the description I will so there's this guy that's done like um, like videos for chunks of the Divine Comedy which will make the book so much easier to follow along and understand and all that um, yes so when I do pick up the Divine Comedy I will be following along with those videos because I'm lazy okay yeah <laughs> Question number five. Is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favourite book of the year? I hope so. I mean, I don't... None, no, no book, like, pops into my head that I hope will be my number one book of the year. But I hope so. I mean, in December will be interesting to... When it comes around to like see, because December is going to be sort of like my wrap up of the year and like what will happen next year kind of a deal. Uh, those are basically what my bookmas videos will be, <laughs> more or less. Um, hopefully, some fun bits and bobs and in between as well. But um, yeah, I hope a book will pop up and be like, hey. I am no no favourite book of all time. What? Question number six. Have you already started making plans for 2023? Not yet. It's too early days for that. Um, one, one that is a given is that I will be reading, hopefully, unless something very drastically happens and I cannot read for some reason. I mean, that that can happen let's let's keep it all open and but let's hope that I will be able to read and I will be able to read a lot because that's what I want to do um and then like as far as the book club we have implemented a new system like a voting system for which books we're going to read uh, as the book club in the book club um but that's about it. We haven't, I mean, we we should maybe sit down and pick the three books that we're gonna put into voting for each month, but we haven't done so far. We haven't done it so far, and uh, but I think we will be doing it. We shall see. Um, or we'll just take it by ear. Who knows? Um, that's about it, though. I think, as far as my reading plans for next year's reading goes, um, the there are none, but there are some, but not really. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. 
like I mentioned, if there's any like autumnal books or any books in general you think I should read, pop them down below and, you know, I'll see if they tickle my fancy and then I'll go and uh, read them. Quite possibly. Most likely, honestly. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you all next time. Until then, take care. Oh, bye bye.